All right, working on a 93 XLT Special. Just um, went back through the carbs, put a little bigger pilots in it. I've already static synced the carbs to get it to idle, about 2,000 RPM. And I also adjusted air screws to get that set. And now I'm going to synchronize the carbs, verifying the airflow through the three carbs is equal. What I'm using is a manometer, went to Ace Hardware, got a yardstick, Tygon tubing, a T-fitting. So there's three legs. The right hand leg is going to the mag side cylinder. The center leg is going to the center cylinder. The left hand leg is going to the PTO cylinder. And as you can see, there's a bunch more tubing back there. And that's because I have a twin cylinder manometer on the back. It cost me about 20 bucks to build, I think. And then it's just hooked up on the hood on the front. Um, again, I'm using ATF in there. Um, those who understand manometers and inches of mercury, this is not 100% accurate compared to that. But all we're doing is trying to make sure that when the engine's running, the three columns of fluid are pretty much balanced. So let me go ahead and get this started. The engine's already warmed up, so it should start easily. finish sinking it here in a little bit but the columns that are taller means there's more vacuum on that carb so you want to allow more airflow and raise that slide the columns that are low means there's too much airflow so you need to 
lower that slide that creates more vacuum in the cylinder so again just a yardstick with tigon tubing zip tied to it and then filled with atf you could use water and some dye or two-stroke fluid anything that you can see